Hey y'all, I'm Wilson. Welcome to my little shop. I've been busy at work for the last few weeks, so I have neglected my videos a little bit. Neglected the shop here too. It is a it is a mess up in here. But anyway, I'm fixing to start back on my videos. I got some projects that have already started over here. I got to get some plywood for those. But I messed around and dug through the scrap pile and I've got these. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of little bookcases out of these. I've got all the plywood, all the wood I need to do it. So let me set y'all up on our little custom camera stand and I'm going to get started here. Now, if y'all have watched any of my other videos, any of the last videos, you know I'm fixing to do some work on the shop. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to take all my scrap that I've accumulated over the years and either, either build something with it and get it out of here or throw it in the burn pile and get it out of here. One way or the other, I'm not going to be moving it back and forth. I'm going to get rid of it. Once I get the shop fixed up a little bit, I'll get me a whole new scrap pile going. But anyway, I've got these panels right here. This was panels for an island. These things were ordered too small. So we added on to them. We added on to them so we could put them on the island temporarily so the people weren't without their island. They didn't have a big old blank end on the side of it. We put them on there and when the new ones come, up, come in, we took them off, ended up in a scrap heap. But now instead of throwing them away, I think I'm fixing to go ahead and build something out of them. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to build two bookcases. Two bookcases, 36 inches tall by whatever width I get it to come out to be. Or whatever depth I get it to come out to be. The width is going to be 36 too. I'm going to make it 36 tall, 36 wide, and whatever depth it comes out to be with what I've got right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split these and I'm going to split this dead in the center. So let me get a measurement on this real quick. My flat spot, I've got an inch and three quarters. So that's going to be seven eighths to the center. But I want to get it dead in the center. My blade my blade is an eighth inch, actually kind of a tight, a tight eighth inch. It's a little shy. So I'm going to measure that out. Double check. I got 20 and 3 sixteenths. I got 20 and 3 sixteenths that way, so I'm dead in the center. Both of them are the same size, so I should be good. Now I measured 20 and 3 sixteenths, left an eighth for my blade. So that way it splits it dead in the center. Now I've got an old blade in here on here. So I'm gonna show y'all. This is an actual wood panel. It does have staples in it. So I've got to be careful cutting it. It might throw it back at me. I've got my glasses on, but these ain't safety glasses. Really need safety glasses for something like this, but I'm just gonna. I'm just going to hope for the best. Anyway, I got this set up. Double check it. Always double check. 20 and 3 sixteenths. So I'm going to split that. I did hit the staple 
at the end, it didn't throw nothing back at me, so it'll be alright. Alright, now I'm just double checking to make sure I got it exactly the same. Then we're going to set these to the side. Now doing something like this, this is one of my favorite things to do. Just to jump in, no plans, just get an idea in your head and just throw something together. Okay, so we're going to have two ends right here, two ends on the other one. I'm going to trim this back off. And then when my face frame, I'm going to put a face frame, and it's going to glue onto here. When my face frame goes on, it'll end up making this the same thickness that I end up making this. So, I'm going to double check. When my face frame goes on, I'm going to have an inch and a half worth of flat spot. So, if I want to do that here, I'm going to get a measurement that gives me an inch and a half to my flat. And that is 15 and 3 sixteenths. And that's good. That's what I had planned. That's what I had planned when I first got them. Because at that measurement, it cuts me dead on that glue line where this was added on. So I need 15 and 3 sixteenths. I'm going to cut these again. Now my gauge, my gauge on my saw is all wore out. I have to use a tape measure on mine. I got a, I got a poor man shop set up. If y'all been watching the videos, y'all already know. Because they came right off of those panels. So 
we're going to use those. I'm going to do a two inch, a two inch side style. So right now I'm going to cut these to two and an eighth and I'll take it and run through my planer to get what I need. my face frame cut. I've got my four ends cut over here and that is trash. I'm going to throw it right over there for now. Now let me take y'all here. Get y'all to spin y'all around again. I need, I don't know if y'all can see it, I've got some quarter inch over here. I've got a Get in here and dig it out. I'm gonna use that. Let me slip in here while I got y'all. Bounce y'all all around with me. Now this is some pre-finished birch quarter inch. I'm gonna use it to skin the inside of those ends. Let me squeeze out from that there. That gum, I got everything jammed up in here. But like I say, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it once I get everything done. I'm going to set y'all right there. I'm going to get this plywood and bring over there. All right, here we go. All right, now, bottom of this plywood has got a little water damage. I'll let y'all see it there, it looks pretty rough. But that's just the bottom, we're gonna, we're gonna use the other end. Let me take you here. What we're gonna do first is come over here and cut our height on this. We're going to cut the height on the panel saw. I'm sorry I'm spinning y'all all around, but I'm just a one man shit show here. There we go. Now if I can squeeze past this ladder without popping y'all over. I'm going to get over here. Now, the 
those panels, those panels that I cut down, they were base cabinet height, kitchen base cabinet height, which for me is 35 and a quarter. I've got a stop already set up on here at that height. Spin y'all around again. Got dust flying in the air. There we go. Get y'all back up here on the little stand before I shake y'all up too bad. I just want to say I do appreciate everybody that's been watching. I'm trying to get better at the videos, but it just, it is what it is. I'm just having a little fun. One of the main things I want to do is just kind of document the projects that I do. Kind of think it might be a neat thing for something later on down the road, whoever gets the project to be able to say, hey, I've got a little video on how it was made here. But anyway, like I said, I'm just having fun. Now I've got that set on 15 and 3 16 the same depth as we cut our end. kind of got a little flex there in the middle got a little recessed panel so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna check and see how I'm gonna see how thick that is I'm gonna use a piece of this and that's great right there that is the same thickness so what I'm gonna do I can get that thing to break. I'm going to put that in the center. That way, when I put my quarter inch end on there, 
is going to be a little more solid. So I'm going to need I can do these right here. What I'm just going to do right now is eyeball that, put my finger right there. Carry it over to the chop saw and just cut it. It don't have to be perfect. It's just going to go in there just like that. Like that. I'm going to take my little 23 gauge pin gun, nail that in, and then that's going to go right there. That's going to go right there. Then we're going to dado it in for our shelves and for our back. All right, so we got a good little start right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that it for tonight. Let me set that back down there, set this here. Now, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and plane these face frames so I can get those put together. We'll nail this on. We'll put our ends on. on. We'll dado these. And we'll see how far we can get. I'm just going to do a little bit, a little bit each night, try to make up for not having all the, my videos the last few weeks. Make up for neglecting them. Sorry y'all, I'm getting a little tongue-tied. There we go, I'm fixing the shutter down for the night. And eventually we're gonna get to these. I gotta get some plywood in, so it's gonna be another, at least another couple of weeks before I get to these other projects. But we're gonna get this one finished up. And then go from there. I sure do appreciate y'all watching. I kind of rushed this video, so I'm kind of getting a little tongue-tied and missing a lot of stuff on it, but that's the way it goes. I'm just having some fun. I hope y'all enjoy watching. But anyway, that's it for tonight. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. I'll see y'all next time.